Jacksonville is one step closer to becoming a hub for self-driving vehicles. City Council approved more than $7.5 million in incentives last night for a company to build an autonomous vehicle plant here in the city. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews is live. And Brianna, the city still isn't naming the company. Bruce and Jen, the incentives were approved for something called Project Link. Now, the city has not given it a name, but according to our news partners at the Jack's Daily Record, it's likely a company called Holland, and there's plenty of evidence to back that up. Holland lists Jacksonville as a partner on its website. It states that the Jacksonville Transportation Authority, BEEP, and Holland plan to work together to create its first mixed traffic route, connecting neighborhoods and businesses to a sports and entertainment complex. Project Link also includes building a 450,000 square foot manufacturing autonomous electric vehicle facility in Jacksonville, the first in the state. It will employ up to 200 people, offer competitive wages and benefits, and has a capital investment of $100 million. This is what Holland's autonomous vehicle looks like. It was one of the many vehicles displayed at the city's autonomous vehicle day. Jacksonville Transportation Authority wants to modernize the downtown area by bringing more than a dozen self-driving vehicles along several parts of Bay Street by 2025. This is video of some of the autonomous vehicles from Autonomous Vehicle Day that could be seen around town. JTA wants to create a three mile loop called the Bay Street Innovation Corridor between the downtown core and the sports and entertainment district. The corridor is expected to have 12 different stops. The agency also just broke ground on a $65 million autonomous innovation center in La Villa. Autonomous vehicles could be key to growing downtown. Now, earlier this week, the president of Jack's Chamber said the city should look into partnering with Waymo after seeing the company's vehicles in action. And this happened during a trip to downtown Phoenix. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.